It's not. It is bad. You shouldn't say it. No one should say it anymore. <laughs> this is the first thirty seconds. What kind of podcast? Do you guys this is, this is a cool podcast. Se- the first thirty seconds. Jake is like, I barely even said it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I barely, I, I'm not even saying. No, I'm just saying. It's like you're looking at me like you're, I said fucking the other I'm, word. I'm gonna start doing that just to like make Jake insecure. But like whatever you're saying. Oh yeah, no, definitely, Jake. Yeah. No, I'm. Sa- I, I, what I was saying, innocent, we can innocent. Cut that part. We don't have to. We don't have to cut anything. If you ask me to cut Uncut. something, if you want me to cut something, I'm going to tell you right now that I won't cut it. <laughs> We've got a special guest today, Alex. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, yeah. All the way from Saudi Arabia. Not Can you guys Arabia, believe actually, it, folks? I literally, live ten minutes. Away from <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like a ten minute drive. Saudi Arabia, Texas. Yeah, from Saudi. Yeah, I'm like a ten minute drive from Here's Dubai. Palestine, Texas. There, there is. is. I went there. The, I went there not too long ago. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of white yeah. people there. Mm-hmm. A lot of it's white true. people there. Don't they call it Palestine? Yeah, Palestine. Oh, yeah, 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 Palestine. I'm Palestine. from here, by the way. I'm from. I, I knew that. <laughs> I'm from here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you guys know this, uh, but I am. Fr- I'm from here. Texas. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> Born and raised. I'm not like a bad. Like a no. I'm one of the. Yeah. I'm one of the good ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have my citizens. I work out at Planet Fitness. You know, I fucking pay my taxes. You know. Jake is from. Um, where are you from again? Beautiful, Buffalo Bayou. Beautiful Buffalo Bio Triple B. Yeah, yeah, the Triple, triple B. B. That's what people from Houston call it for sure. Uh, yeah, no, I'm from Houston. I Texas. thought it was for big booty ballers who love butts. <laughs> that would be quadruple four Bs. Big booty ballers, so they themselves have big booties. Yeah, but they also love them on other people. You know, the game nowadays all fucked up. Used to be the pimps had the booty. <laughs> now it's all the bitches. You go back in time, all the players used to have big, voluptuous, big butts, and their buttholes was big, too, when they, the poop would fall out as they were so big. And now you come up, they're getting BBLs, bottle of agreement leverage. That's what that should be called, if you ask me. Thomas talks like this every time he gets a fresh cut, by the way. Yeah, fresh cut and three beers deep, and Thomas is like, yo, we're going to record tonight. What's hey, good, yo, baby yo, boy? Yo, yo, <laughs> y'all mind if I peep game? <laughs> You mind if I please, fucking? If my, you mind if I speak truth? A lot of turkeys out here is not as jab as they goblin, used to be. Dude. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's. I thought it was Thanksgiving the way the uh, these birds gobbling, but ain't, they ain't got nothing on their plate. I thought it was Thanksgiving the way I be gobbling my green. I thought it was Thanksgiving the way I uh, my grandma's here. <laughs> hey, grandma. Okay. What you been up to today, Alex? Almost got in a fight at Torchy's. Oh, really? For real? Over what, dude? Okay, let me preface this by saying these guys took like okay, it was a, it was a uh, it was an unk and his wife. Yeah, an unk and an auntie. Mm-hmm. Okay. So uh, <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. For unk, it was <laughs> uh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, <clears throat> so they had already taken forever. They. To Wait. order their food, right? Really? No yeah. way. So, so I was, I was already a little. Uh, yeah, they were being. They, they, I was, I was hangry. They, they weren't respectful of mm-hmm. like your time and place in line. Or something? Right, right, right. So right, right. they took like uh, twenty minutes to order two tacos and a margarita, which I was, I was plate watching by the way, just to see, you know, didn't matter. Okay, I was, I was uh, so I was getting water with my little free water cup. Sure, sure, sure. And I, I was trying to pass by. Um, the couple, because I wanted to pull, pull that mic a little closer to you, big dog. There you go. The, yeah. fill, fill some water up. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I'm trying to like sneak behind them, and then she backs up into me, and I like I'm like oh, you know, and uh, I'm like excuse me, and then I guess they didn't hear it, so I'm walking up to the water to fill up my water cup, and the guy's like, I'm standing right here, man, and I'm like. Okay, I'm just, you're standing in the way of the, the, the drink fountain. He's like, well, you could have said excuse me, and I was like, uh, well, you're standing in the, in place of the right yes. in front of the drinks. Yeah, yeah. So I'm walking back to my, so I just didn't acknowledge him at all. And right, I right. Pissed him off. Yeah, yeah. And um, you can't treat an unk like that, by the way. <laughs> well, no. here's the thing. I, 
I, sn- I to- smelled a little pussy on him, you know. Oh, I, so I kind of, okay. I kind of didn't smell a little bitch on him. If I wasn't hungry and if I wasn't, uh, <laughs> if my the old me would have probably been like, oh, excuse me, sir, I'm sorry. Can I please get so some you've water? been taking decaballin and so exactly, you- <laughs> and a lot of testosterone and uh, <laughs> so Welcome back. This has just happened, by the way. Um, and so I was walking back to my table, and then uh, so I see him walking towards me. And I'm uh, like, oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. I've I've been waiting for this Not moment. Not this no again. Worries. So um, <laughs> I can't, dude. <laughs> nah, I would check, please. <laughs> But no, no, yeah, he, yeah. he, I guess he came over to diffuse the situation. I was, I thought he was coming at, cause I walked away. He didn't say anything. Yeah. Yeah. He, um, he was like, Hey man, I wasn't trying to be rude, but, um, not that he sounded like that or anything, but well, did you, right. did, were they not to be, I don't want to come across the wrong way, but were they on a FaceTime call? <laughs> Maybe they were just. Maybe he was talking to another guy on Facetime. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, did they have their? Did they have any music on speakerphone while they were? Yes or no, far. Jake? Why would you say that? <laughs> but I mean, no. Look, uh, well, did you? I will. I, I will say you didn't there, step on his. You didn't. The shoes? No. No, no. I not on his penny loafers. His uh, Sperry's did not. You, I didn't did step you, on. <laughs> step on. Did you, I didn't did step you, on his on his Thursday boots. Did no, you uh, give him a firm, regular handshake? Normal, regular, I, normal I, like any other handshake. Uh, not nothing, nothing, no razzle dazzle on it. Well, he did. Uh, he did say, "Look, man, I wasn't trying to be rude," and I was like, "You know what? Okay, I apologize." And then I, I shook his hand. So, and he said, "But he, to, he, he." He stood down first, so I'm not a yeah, bitch. Yeah, and you well, could have said, hey, I'm sorry. I did not mean to um, disrespect you or your wife of color. Your walk. I, I, because that's a respectful way to yes, say it. Yes, especially, hey, listen, I, I you're know a woman you're a of custom, color. I know you, <laughs> I know, yeah. I wasn't trying to get in the way of the drink fountain of color. <laughs> <laughs> It is torchies. So well, I was gonna. So like, I was gonna very say, vibrant. And all, like, I don't know. like for real. When I feel like there are certain guys who, when they go to diffuse, there are certain situations that don't call for diffusion of it. You could have just gone and had your lunch. He you could have gone and had his. Yeah. But when a guy is like, when a guy comes and tries to be like, um, a like, yo, my bad. They're actually not diffusing it. They're extending the awkwardness of the interaction right. to try to punk you a second time. Is is that true? So he, he I wanted, think so. He I think closure. So. Well, yeah, yeah. He needed to. He not only needed closure, like certain things, like a ch- like a, uh, something that I that I've experienced a couple times when I was like working at the bar is like you shoulder check somebody, yeah. And a normal shoulder check situation, like, is like, oh shit, my bad. Oh yeah, cool, no worries. That's the end of it. Every now and then, every now and then, that that happens. And then, like maybe ten minutes later, like would walk up to the front of the door where I was like checking IDs and be like, "Yo, man, like, yo, when I checked you like that, like I wasn't even trying to be like that." It's like oh, I see what's happening. You need. You've been thinking about this. Yeah. This is important to you to clear this up with me. Yeah, I've funny. been thinking about jacking off and eating my taco and going home, but this has been sitting with you. So you need to go up to me one more time to say, Just hey, I'm not a bitch. <laughs> you maybe are a little bit of a... Like, and I'm not saying he was doing that. I'm just saying... Could have been. What you yeah. could have said to clear that up is say, I'm sorry your big fat wife had her <laughs> big black booty shaking on me like crazy and jiggling all up on my big meat. And I'm my sorry your white I'm sorry you're I said excuse me. I I'm did. sorry that my... you didn't I, hear it. I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking straight. All my blood from my brain went into my fucking cock when I saw how awesome your wife's uh, huge bazonkas were. I, I don't you don't got to talk like that. I mean, I, I, I don't know if I would have said that yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. I would probably have said that, but, uh, and I would have said, and fuck you. 
fuck you. And then I would have gone out. I would have flipped his fucking car <laughs> with my hands. With your bare hands? Yeah, I would have fucked it. Yeah. You would have had sex with it? I would have had sex with the car. I would have hurt myself real bad doing it. Yeah, yeah. But so, yeah, I think you handled that well. Except I probably would have just, go, I would probably would have hit him with one of these, just, mm-hmm. you know, and he goes, Trying oh my God. With it, that haircut, that um, would have been um, really um, bad. drops his drink. Mm-hmm. He goes, yeah. I, I'm sorry, I didn't peep game on you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to, listen, man, I don't know if the haircut currently makes you more of like a threat superficially. Like just, I don't know you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. That hair, you don't know Thomas. You don't know him. You see that. Mm-hmm. At Torchies and he's being a little testy. I feel like I would not take, I wouldn't take that fight. I feel I like just, I just, I just flip. I look like I just got out of jail for being a pedophile, mm-hmm. or oh. you're about <laughs> to go to jail for being a pedophile. No, I no. I would, I would say I just look like a simple, like a simple, uh, like I. Like, I broke Amish, but I didn't know of a different haircut to get. You know what I mean? That is a very, very good yes. Yes, I agree with that observation. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, like, doing heroin and stuff, but I still get I still get my you are You're, you're on Rumspringa, uh, but, like, you don't know what else to do. Yeah, I still yeah. get my haircut in, like, rural Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's, I feel, also, it's disrespectful to start shitting at Torchies. Primar- I feel like because Torchies is where you go if you're hungover or if, like, um, like if you're if you need to take your family out to eat, but you don't really want to deal with like going to a real restaurant, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like a Chili's. Like like your wife is like, oh, we need to take the kids out, and you're like, fucking god damn it. Yeah, you you go there when you're like having an affair. Yes, and you're, yeah, and She's yeah. like, you never take me anywhere nice, and it's like, well, what if I spent thirty dollars on you? Mm-hmm. Torchies is where you take your kids to tell them that like it's one of the places you take your kids to tell them you're having a divorce. <laughs> Like, you don't want to spend too much money on the yeah. divorce dinner. Right. Like, hey, me and your mom, I'm going to move like 30 minutes south. I'm going to be living in Copper's <laughs> Cove. Your yeah. mom's is gonna, your mom's going to be in Flower Mound. Okay, but we're st- we still love each other. Like, we really do. St- they'll get along. You're not going to spend a bunch of money on that dinner. You go to Chili's, you go to Torchies. Like, that's yeah. it. It's the a place you great. go when you're, you have a family member in the hospital, and then there's <laughs> like one right there. And so you go, and you're eating like a fried chicken and queso taco, and you're like, well... It's not all bad in the world. Can I, can I just be 100% real for a second? The day after my dad died, we went to a Tex-Mex place called uh, Ranchero Riviera. <laughs> and that was like our family dinner where like a bunch of like, well, not a bunch, like a, like a, a couple of our family members came and we were just like eating chips and salsa and like chips and queso. My mom's like, so are you going to, how are you going to call the bank to figure out if you can get, you know, like whatever money he had like in the, in the account. And I'm like, and I'm telling the waitress like I'll have the uh, yeah I'll have the um, red hot Rita. <laughs> yeah, I'll have the. This is oh it's oh it's made with Mike's red hots. Can I have the red hot Rita please? Oh no, he hung himself. I'll have the red. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have the red hot Rita, and and I would love to start with the carnitas tacos. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, grieving meals are funny because you'll have like Jimmy John's and then like a hot black coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. At the yeah, same yeah. time, it's just like that's how shit lines up. Yeah, and, exactly. And, yeah, yeah. You had food. sixteen yeah. beers, and then you have to go be with family. Yeah, and your family likes to go out to eat to Luby's, and so yeah. you're just trying to stomach yeah, you're like having an- fucking spaghetti and apple pie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're eating, like you're eating a you're eating an old three day dried prime rib with a piece of like egg yeah. roll, like half of an egg roll, and you're like, yeah, no, it's bad. It's been pretty bad. Yeah, I remember when my sister was in the hospital one time. A bunch of the other homeschool moms brought. We had like forty casseroles at our house, and nobody fucking knew how to cook. It was just like all like homeschool white moms. Yeah. So we just had like a bunch of like shit that had like Ritz crackers. And yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah, and like, like white oh, people salads. Oh, yeah. thank you. I'm like my family couldn't make like five Mexican friends. <laughs> They they cook food in bulk all the time and it tastes good. We yeah. just have our stupid fucking cracker friends. Uh, fucking Ashley's <laughs> mom's best friend owns one of the like most popular like taco spots in Houston, and I get so spoiled when I go home because like like I go home to visit her family and it's like oh we're gonna eat like the best tortas in, like in Houston like they just game and then my mom's like oh do you want to swing by I made Dorito lasagna <laughs> <laughs> I made ham and I made a ham salad and I'm like mom. Dude, I love you. You sacrificed your life to give me a better one, straight up. But like, you need to start making some like three bus. Uh, like, this is shit needs to get. You need to get your shit. I made broccoli and Velveeta pile. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know? Do you do you know? Uh, 
do you not want to come over anymore? I'm like, God up, damn, up, no. Up, yeah, you know up. that sp- you know that spaghetti I make that has spam in it instead of <laughs> real meat. <laughs> I made that, and I, I fried it. Do you it know the way that I bake chicken with no salt, and I just put a lemon in the pan for no <laughs> no particular reason? I That's made uh, I made sweetened condensed milk for dinner, if you want me. <laughs> yeah, I put sweetened condensed milk in a prime the Eagle, rib. Eagle brand, and I put salt I put on 17 it. pounds of, of roast beef into a crock pot on low for 17 hours, and it's still raw. Do you want to have some of that? It, I mean, I, it's, it's it'll be in the fridge if you want it. Cajun moms be like, y- y'all come over, we're having huff. <laughs> Cajun moms be like, You try to make A very niche meme yeah. page Cajun Y'all come, y'all, yeah, y'all come <laughs> over now We got Martian And uh, alligator foot <laughs> We having swamp water And uh, salt for dinner <laughs> Swamp water and salt I was gonna say uh, uh, We all were in Chicago um, I got, Obviously we all got Pretty fucked up Like you know Every night that we were there Yeah you did Okay, not me. <laughs> That's what you want to call it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, like the second night we were all hanging out at that bar, yeah, the same bar. Just we were, hanging out. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, just hanging out. And uh, like I, the next scrabble. morning, I well, I blacked out. Like Ashley was like, "Oh, you like fell asleep in the toilet or whatever," and I was like, "Oh, it's not good." But I had this like like f- like ominous sense of like anxiety and like weird like feeling, mm-hmm. and uh, I know what it is. And so, like, we're in the ho- we're on the we're in the Uber back to the airport or whatever the fuck. And I was like, "Hey, Ash, can I ask you something?" I was like, "She's like, yeah, of course, man." I'm like, "Man, I blocked out really hard last night. Was I making like really weird, like uncomfortable jokes about my dad killing himself?" And she was like, "Yeah, it's pretty bad." <laughs> <laughs> and I and I was like, I was like, "How bad? Like, how bad was it?" And like, Ash always shoots straight with me, like especially on shit like that, because she's like, she's like. Look, I know that you're joking, right? Like, I know that you're, like, this is, like, the way that you deal with everything. Like, you just, like, you try to make jokes about it, it's fine. There were people at the bar who did not. <laughs> I thought they were pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like, you know. like Yeah, but, like, there were, there, were, there were people there that we had met that did not know me and did not know Thomas and did not know, like, my fiance or you. And Ash was like, yeah, somebody was like, is he, is he going to go like y'all fly home tomorrow? (laughs) And I was like, I was trying to express to her. I was trying to tell that person a day later through my own girlfriend, like a ghost. I was like, can you go find them and tell them that I'm fine? (laughs) But he warned the pilot. Yeah. 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 I told you. But it was one of those things where I was like, I do this shit all the time where I like, I get like drunk in public and I have to like, find a way around it and the quickest way that I can is is, is like to joke about it but the people like don't know who I am so they're like oh yeah this guy's this guy's next <laughs> like this guy's on he's easy easy yeah he's next for sure my the worst I think one well not the worst the worst thing I do when I get really drunk is I throw up on everybody but yeah but uh <laughs> oh yeah but uh yeah Alex has gotten a taste of uh not a, my, not a physical taste yeah but, but one thing that I tend to do, A, when I get, I think it's mostly when I have been drinking and then I get cocky and I smoke too much weed, is I start, in my mind, I real I just figured everything out when I do that. And I'll be like, yeah, I've been really coming into my own lately. And people are like, that's good, man. I'm like, like shit's f- finally starting to click. It's like mm-hmm. really cool. And they're like, <laughs> nice, man. Like how? And it's like. I just that's just kind of how it is, you know. Like, <laughs> like, like yeah. I'm like, you know, I feel like like the past like ten years of like just failure has been like, <laughs> like really like has been good for me because like now like, like, I think that's been good, you know. And they're like, oh, nice, like you're doing better. I'm like, no, but like, I think, no, like, I wouldn't say that. Doing me. Yeah. I'm like, no, like, but like it put it gives you perspective, and it's like that's how I know like shit's gonna work out because like. Not that good, you know, like I'm not that, not really particularly good at anything else. Yeah, I'm like, you know, you know like I may not be that good at like comedy or like podcasting <laughs> or anything, but it's like, you know what it's I mean? Working it's working like, for some reason. I guess. I'm not that good at maybe I can't have a job or like own my own business or like work for myself, <laughs> even or like, like, yeah, yeah. or like have a stable relationship <laughs> or like ever have a chance to have kids or like just have girlfriends who tolerate me for a while at a time. <laughs> And like maybe my penis like probably has like a couple years left of working, but yeah. like, like I know someday like I will be I'll be older 
You know, what someday I, mean? I will make eight thousand dollars a month. And then on some Patreon. guy, it's just the bartender who's been just giving. He's just been giving opening bottles of Budweiser yeah. for me. Yeah, he's like, "All right, man, sick. You want to close out soon?" Four like, fifty, <laughs> dude. The job that that laid me off, um, I guess like eight months ago. Like best job I ever had. Like fucking cool, cool ass job. Paid me pretty good money. He cleaned out Diane Feinstein's pussy. Yeah, for a yeah. I ate her really... pussy out, um, pretty crumbly <laughs> style. And I had to get all of her like tampon cotton out of a coochie. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> too. It was uh, anyway. I like, dude. They uh, so they bring me on, and then two weeks later, they're having like their. Uh, they're like company party where they like bring everyone from out of state. And they put them up in a hotel, and then we just, they just like, I didn't know, I'd never worked for a company that did anything like that. So I was living in San Marcos. The whole party was in Cedar Park, so they put me up in a hotel in Cedar Park. And, uh, dude, my dad had had died maybe like eight months, eight months previously. It was still very fresh. And, uh, it was a wah, wah, wah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and so fucking, anyway, anyway, um, I uh, I tell myself, like, I'm in the hotel and I'm talking to myself in the mirror. I'm like, this is a new job, bro. This is a new job. And this has been something, like, I joke about it, but it's like it's something that I do, like, all the fucking time. Where, like, I get fucked up and I just start talking about it. It just happens. Whatever. And uh, and so I'm like, I'm in the mirror. I'm like, hey, man, like, it's open bar. It's, like, open food. Like, all this shit's free. This is a new job. You can't lose this job. You have health insurance, which I've never had. So I was, like, sick. Like, dude, I get there and like an hour and a half in, I'm talking to one of this full stack. I'm not just, just talking to the software developer. I'm like, yeah, yeah, he hung himself. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's fine. You know, you learn a lot. You learn a lot, you know, when you when you go through stuff like this. You learn how strong you really are. You learn that you're not, you know. And the guy's like, he's just sipping like an IPA and he's like smoking a cigarette. And he's like, yeah, yeah, well, hey, I got to go. We got to go some activities to do. We got to go. And so like he would leave and then I would just like, some like twenty year old like UT intern is like, yeah, I fucking love working here. Like this is so cool. Like they put you up in a hotel, they gave you beer. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He uh, he was drinking like thirty beers a day towards the end, you know, and uh, and and that was hard for me to deal with because I was trying to stop drinking and and then you know he just sort of died and they're like, oh well, I gotta they're they're telling all the interns to meet and then I just like the guy that owned the company, his name's Jeff. I have a, I blacked out, and I have a very, very, very foggy memory of being like on the dance floor with him and his wife, and being like, "Yeah, yeah, it was really weird." I talked to him the night before. I was watching UFC, and uh, and it, and dude, Usher's yeah was playing. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, it was crazy. He uh, uh, he like so I guess he couldn't figure out a way to like properly kill himself, so he just like hung himself in the garage of his friend's place. Uh, and then I just remember my boss, the owner of the company, being like, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. And his like wife is like backing his, her ass up on him. And I was like, I'm going to go smoke a cigarette in the parking lot, and, and I'm going to call my mom. You guys have a good time. <laughs> you guys have a good time. Like, <laughs> Did they say anything about it? No, 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 no. And then ne- But the next day, same thing, like the Chicago thing. Like I'm like, I'm freaking out really bad. And I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, my God, dude. I Because I ha- also had a vague memory of being back at the hotel bar and then just talking to some, like, 55-year-old lady. I don't know what the fuck she if the company had been like. Right. Yeah, the last company I worked for, when he died, they wouldn't let me take time off. So I told the owner of the company that, that I'm going to kill him and uh, that I was going to beat the shit out of him. And it, it really left a sour taste in their mouth. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um, like, next morning, I'm at the office, and I'm like, shit, that was... And then the head of sales was this guy... <clears throat> Uh, named Frank and he was like the older dude VP and I was like I don't know Frank and Frank's a funny guy but I was like I was like yeah I got I think I maybe overdid it last night and he's like you wore it well man it was awesome <laughs> you, you you wore it well we were all a little just little. wiped all the anxiety yeah, and I was like dude if this rich piece of shit <laughs> is telling me that I was normal nobody remembers me talking about my dead yeah. dad at all and then of course people do but whatever you think about it more than people do but i was just like in my head i was like there's no way there's no way that uh that i that this bothered anybody <laughs> like you you convince yourself you're like yeah no i was fine you know yeah. what i mean yeah yeah it's funny though because the way you talk when you're drunk like everybody talks like that but they'll talk about things that weren't that bad like i've had buddies who would be like you know like i've never told anybody this but <sighs> My parents got divorced. 
I'd yeah. Be like, oh damn! Like, was it really bad? And they're like, it was like it was amicable, but yeah, like like trying to relate. <laughs> yeah, and I'd be like, shit, man, that's tough. You know, like my parents are together, but you know, like everybody fights sometimes. You know, and they're like, yeah, they're not married anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, like I do feel like my parents are still together. I feel for you, but like they're saying it like like it's Jake's story, yeah, or your story or something. Where I'm like, damn. I, Okay. I was telling you Thomas, know, but but if somebody's like, yeah, when I was six, like my family dog like died of old age. I'm like, <laughs> I, damn, that sucks, dude. Like, uh, me too, you know. I was. Uh, she was only fourteen. <laughs> she was. She was twenty two years old. She's old. Dog. So yeah. She died of. Uh, she died in her sleep peacefully. <laughs> my grand, my great grandma, she died. She was only ninety seven. <laughs> so young. Oh God, she had so much time left. I was at a funeral a few years ago for a family friend, and it didn't make me laugh, but it made me think because he was like seventy three, I think, and one of the people was like, you know, he was taken before his time. <laughs> yeah, I love hearing. But that. and I remember thinking like, yeah, like he had maybe like a he did have two. cancer. Yeah, yeah. like I, I feel like you're taken before your time if you die. Like if you get hit by a car. Maybe and Any you're time like before young, like fifty five. Yeah, but is like, before your time. I think. And I didn't want the. I mean, I was sad when the guy died, but I thought, yeah, I mean, it seventy three is not a bad run. Yeah, you know, that's a pretty fucking. It's a solid run. Yeah. In in when in the scope of the world, you know, I'll, I'll take seventy three. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's funny to think like <laughs> my dog died. She was only seventy three. <laughs> 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 yeah, my dog died. She was 82. And, uh, it was really bad. Uh, when, I, when I was a kid, I don't know if y'all like y'all had like a similar. My mom would tell me like when a family member died, um, and I would ask like why they'd be like, oh, like of old age, and I like didn't I like dude until I was like a teenager and I understood like chronic illness or like like I, I knew what cancer was, but I was like. I just thought that you like like you'd like turn seventy five and then like your body shut off like when I was a yeah. kid like oh she died of old age and I'm like oh like old age is just like this thing like you turn seventy five and you wake up and your body goes like and you just die yeah. which essentially is what happens yeah. basically yeah. but I'm like no like that like I needed like I didn't need more than that but I was like I don't understand fundamentally like what you're trying to say because. In my mind, it's like, oh, no, I need, like, a cancer. I need a tumor. Like, no, Auntie Bobo died of old age. And, like, her body was just like, damn, you're old as shit. <laughs> like, yeah. She's drinking six liters of soda a day. God damn, age is catching up to me. <laughs> my Aunt Bobo died because, well, she was old as fuck when she died. But uh, she got, like, one of the first, like, uh, breast implants. Like, not one of the first. I'm not trying to flex on anybody. Be like, yo, my She got aunt, the my, first and the second. Right, right. Yeah, my great aunt. Yo, she first got some of the first second. fake titties. But no, she was one of the first people that, like, got... Um, which is crazy, because they lived in, like, total poverty, which leads me to believe that they, like... Did it themselves? No, that, or, like, they sold everything they had so she could have fake tits. Like, in the 50s or 60s. <laughs> anyway, um, I found out later after she died, uh, she died of a heart attack, that, like, she never got her implants replaced. And what happened was the so silicone had leaked out and just like into her like chest cavity, like around her heart. And a doctor told her that and was like, you need to have new implants put in. And she was like, oh, well, we had a little bit of money in the 70s, but we don't we can't do that now. And the doctor's like, you're there's silicone like in your chest cavity. And she was like, that's fine. And then just like straight up died. And I remember being like, damn, that's that's sick, dude, to be like to have a doctor be like, hey, your fake tits are going to kill do you. Do you have any pictures of them? <laughs> no, I don't. How old is she? Uh, <laughs> it, it, the the, the coroner takes pictures of, of of Jake's aunt's boobs and he's squeezing them together. <laughs> uh, <laughs> unfortunately, he's like the twisting the nipples around and shit. Rack like, of the deceased. Dude, if my mom ever saw this show, she would literally disown me. She would. It's like an examination. Can you identify her? Uh-huh. <laughs> is, wait, her. there's a picture. Like, is this your clear, lo- is this your loved one? Yeah, clearly like <laughs> taken. So there's like five photos taken on like a DSLR, right? Like super 4K, like medical pictures. 
And then there's in the slideshow, there's one clearly taken on his phone, and he's like sucking on the nipple. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So I, I don't know. I, 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 uh, fuck. Okay. All right. Sorry, uh, it looks sorry. like uh, in this one, she. Uh, I had to show how big they were, so she has on my lab coat, and then it's sort of unbuttoned at the top. Mm-hmm. She has my lab coat on, and I'm wearing a wig. I had to figure out just the size of her breasts and the depth. Yeah, she had two boobies. breast implants and then an alive penis implant too. Um. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, it was really tragic. They were still, uh, you know, thankfully they were still perky when she passed. Alex, do you have any breast implants? <laughs> Me? No. No, not yeah, okay. recently. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's awesome. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. If that's you awesome. were going to get a plastic surgery, what would you get? Yeah. Both of you guys. Breast implants. Breast implants. Imagine a man with the hairiest chest, but double D's. Do you think having the impl- I I, don't, I wonder if you would still have the amount of hair you would, but I feel like it's minimally invasive now. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I feel just, like they used to just, just cut money. off the entire chest. You yeah, know they they I mean? go through the nipple now. They go through the nipple, mm-hmm. so so they don't have like. Well, so you can. Have. When you get the when you see the fake titty scars, it's like under, but it's like this big. They just right, slide. Right. They, it, do you think it messes with your nipple sensitivity? I don't know. I don't know. Probably. I don't know. Good question. I, don't know. I, I would assume it does. I but think the old ones did. You can get it under or you can get it through the nipple, apparently. I know they do um, breast reductions through I'd the nipple. I'd want it just I never on heard top. of yeah. anything like I don't. Th- I would want an outplant. I wouldn't know, but. I would want it like armor, like an outplant. Mm-hmm. Oh, like you want the silicon the like yeah, over, over the, the skin. Yeah. yeah, that'd be pretty sick. Like football pads. What about you? What? Me? What kind um, of enhancement? Dude, I think it? it would be funny to have my body, which is like. Like kind of skinny fat, right? Like just like not in great shape, but not in bad shape. But get the you're like, in fine shape, man. I mean, I was gonna, I was nodding, but you're fine. You're, you look fine, man. No, I'm saying get the <laughs> abdominal etching that certain old guys get. I don't mm-hmm. know if you've ever seen a picture of it. Yeah, you can get like a uh, fat reduction around your abs, but the the technology isn't like quite there to make it look super real. So I've seen some of the pictures; they're super funny. They won't. You have to like guys will get it around their abs, but they won't get it around their pecs. So they'll have like a carved out, like old men will have like a carved out leathery six pack and then just like huge saggy titties. Like <laughs> they old look like men. pecs sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm like that, like, because we, we, we talked in a couple of episodes where it's like, dude, plastic surgery, you don't skimp out on that. Like if you want to buy a used car, you skimp out on it. You want to buy a nice pair of shoes and you're broke on money. Maybe you go to Target, you get yourself a nice pair of high tops or something. Some of the pictures are funny because, like, some of them the guys will have, like, clearly spent the money on, like, you get fat reduction in your chest. You get fat reduction in your abs and you get it in your, like, your fucking dick zone. But some guys only have the six-pack money. Mm -hmm. So you'll see the after photos are so goddamn funny of, like, dude, from belly button up, it's, like, like IFBB Pro. Like, just not an ounce of fat. And then from chest to (laughs) sternum up, it's fat, saggy, like, gray, hairy (laughs) titty. And then from, like, uh, like navel down, like, happy trail down, it's, like, fupa. But just the, the middle part is just, like, Dustin Poirier 155, like, just <laughs> carved out of stone. And I'm, like, dude, that's so awesome to pay, like, eight grand for that and not have the other eight for the other parts. Because in what setting is that going to be, like, imagine you get yourself a nice young piece of trim. You're a 60-year-old man. You just got your abs etched. You got the fat pulled out from everybody, and they do the laser to make them like for each muscle. So if the girl views your body like from the belly button up, but not the titty, dude, you are like a jacked old man. But if she sees you that your shirt off, you look like a carnival creature. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, like so. I'd probably get that. I'd probably get my abs etched, but just maybe just one, maybe just the left side. Mm-hmm. Have right side just be kind of normal. Like I eat chicken nuggets every now and then, but. Yeah, I knew this girl in high school. She got, she's like, yeah, I have a plastic surgery appointment next week, and I was like, what are you getting done? And she comes back the next week, and she got her ears done. Oh, like the lobes? She got no, she got her ears like flattened. Oh, like pinned back. Yes, and I'd yeah, never yeah. heard of that. Yeah, yeah, and that is. People who have them, they're born with them like externally outward yeah. or like facing outward. They'll pin them back and then they'll like sew a piece of your thigh skin to the ear. So crazy. It that way. God Such damn. A yeah. Random yeah. insecurity to have, but uh, yeah, I feel like, like, I'm, dude, it, it's got to be fucking. You got to have some fucked up ears for me to notice. <laughs> I mean, I mean, but also like, if you're a woman, I get it. Like, if that's something you're insecure about, 
but I could not tell you one time I've seen a woman's ears and been like, God damn, mm-hmm. who's that fucking Curious George? <laughs> Yeah, that is in, that's that's something I've that, seen an old man before and been like, damn, oh, yeah. respect. But you don't want to fuck the old man. Some when you see an that. old man and he has cuz like, you know, your nose and your ears grow as you get older. Yeah. My step granddad, dude, his ears I fucking swear went from the top of his head to his <laughs> jaw. I've never seen ears that fucking big and his nose went from bottom of his eyes down to his fucking belly button. Uh, I mean, it was like yeah. Jesus Christ. And you saw pictures of him when he was young and like I'm like, what ha- were you taking like fucking TRT for your ears? Yeah, like, it's always, dude. I like the cliche, like, uh, like midlife crisis or like end of life crisis. I always feel so bad when I see like an eighty year old man in like a cherry red like twenty twenty three Corvette, like mm. a Z, you know, like a or like a Porsche nine eleven or a Carrera or something like. Because if you have money from birth, you don't have that happen to you. You're always able to have the nice car and have money and get pussy because. You're a young man with a nice car with money. Like, that's the way that works. But whenever I pull up, like, especially if I'm in the hill country driving around, like, like when I would drive the van around, like, I would pull up next to a guy, like, a really old motherfucker and, like, a brand new Corvette or, you know, like a, like a, like a Camaro Z, whatever the fuck, you know, or just name, name a sports car, name a muscle car, and they're old. All this dirt. And I'm like, dude, you're not. A young girl in college will fuck a guy with a Honda Civic that doesn't run. This isn't changing the pussy game for you. The window has closed. The window has closed. A girl will have sex with a young man that's her age that has no car, that takes the bus. That girl's life will be destroyed. She will fall in love with the man with no car. And I'll pull up next to a guy, and I don't got it like that. I don't got no These are new times. But you put and you can. He's got the aviators on, mm-hmm. maybe the slick back hair. You know, he's got the drop top Corvette, button down short sleeves, button down. He's three, got a couple buttons three up undone. top undone. Yeah, yeah and, and you can tell that motherfucker didn't have money when he was twenty. Yeah, not when he was thirty. Mm-hmm. Maybe he started getting a little bit when he was forty, but he he didn't have Corvette Z money, ZR one of the fuck. He got that money when he was sixty, and he's like, all right, now I can be the sexy hot rod and young daddy that I needed to be. And there's not a a woman around that will suck his dry old dick. Now, some girls will, but these guys don't understand those girls. They'll suck an old man's dick. You don't have to have the Corvette. Some girls will suck an old man's dick to tell the story. Yeah. Yeah. One of my friends fucked Pauly Shore and then like texted me the next day and was like, I sucked Pauly Shore's dick last night. That was between us. (laughs) You weren't supposed to tell me about that. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is like, I like a midlife crisis is sadder to me because I am a man. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, and I'm, and I, you know, like I don't have it. I never really had any money. So I'm like, it's got to suck to get money later. Like get money when you're old and you're like, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to get the car. And maybe it's for you. Maybe, maybe I'm projecting. Maybe it is just for you. But I don't think that old men do anything for themselves because a car is a car. You know, I bought the van because I wanted to take it to van shows and be like, yeah, this is cool. You know, I I, uh, I thought about this earlier this week where I wish you could, if you do something embarrassing to everyone else in the future, you should get a, your past self should get a video of it. Just a clip of you doing that thing. And they can obviously tell it's you like. Um, like for example, like you're at like the grocery store and there's like high school girls behind you and you're like, y'all got a date for tonight. It's prom night. And then you're like 20 and you get a video of that and you're like, no fucking way. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. That's That's not fucking me. That's a great idea. And then the next, the rest, the next fucking 30 years, you're like, I'm not going to fucking do that. Yeah. Yeah. I can't, that can't be my future. And if you find yourself doing it, you will. It'll be like deja vu where it's like you already know your lines. There was a guy. And you can't fucking resist it. You're like, no. Like a Black Mirror episode where you're trying to not be an old sexual deviant. You just can't yeah. stop it. Then when, like, I, when I worked in 6th Street, you look down. No, no, no. Oh, God. There was, a, <laughs> there was this old like um, uh, Hispanic dude that would come in that had his hair slicked back. And it was so clearly Rogaine to like a deep black dude. Like. 
if you've got deep black hair when you're young, that tracks. But if you're like 70 and it's just deep, deep you can black. tell. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Died. Yes. Um, he jet black, slicked back hair that was like not. It was kind of like not as long as mine, but it was like right below the ears. And the in the below it, he had clearly permed it, and he had on like a fitted, like a target suit, uh, and. Um, like fitted slacks, like like soccer coat, European soccer coach, like fitted slacks, and then like nice boots, and was like a you know like a thinner old man or whatever, and uh, but w- he wasn't going to like the bar that I worked at was not bougie. This was a college bar, you know, like two dollar Wells, one dollar you call whatever the fuck. We had to kick him out of the time because he would just walk around like slapping girls on the ass and be like, yeah, yeah, little mama. Let's go. You know, blah, blah, blah. Finally, somebody with some game. In yeah, there. yeah. Somebody uh, with a little bit of spit. And- you know, that's what these young guys need to start doing. No, yeah. I don't, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, Alex was telling me before the show, he said, these young bloods don't know how to spit game anymore. Right before we started crawling, I was like, I love to squeeze a girl's butt no, at the bar. And then like he the said, girl- I like it when a girl has a Never. butt. Yeah, no. I like to squeeze I'd- a girl's butt in pussy area and then go home. <laughs> no, consensually. <laughs> Considerably, uh, it's crazy with girls. They don't even have a taint. It's just like straight. It's just this <laughs> fucking pussy. Right, right next to each other. It's yeah, like, yeah. Us, we got to have a fucking bearing straight. You know what I mean? Division. Yeah, you know you can get that removed, and you can just connect your balls to your butthole. Really? Yeah. Dude, my taint is so fucking long for no yeah, reason. Yeah, mine is too. Well, because I like, mean, I think it's probably the normal length, but I'm like, this dude, is too much. By the way, much. I was kidding. You can't get that surgery. That's not surgery. I was <laughs> about to ask. <laughs> I was gonna say. I was going to say, because, like, you know, there's just, it's like an area to maintain where it's like, it's almost like a no, back. I was lying. It's can't. like, it's like the area, but it's like, if you live out in the country, it's like the area behind your backyard where it's like, you still have to mow it every once in a while, but it's not, your but yard. you don't use it for anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I haven't used my, I haven't used my taint for anything mm-hmm. ever. I remember a long time ago. I mean, oh, imagine, so- imagine doing deadlifts and squatting heavy with no taint. Mm-hmm. It's just <laughs> balls and butthole. Just balls and butt. Straight to business. Mm-hmm. Oh no, it's right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did you ever <laughs> feel at a time in your life when it was like you wanted to be like me and Tyler talked about this like a couple episodes back where it's like I used to shave my like balls and my pubes because I thought like I was like gonna have sex. At any moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, like Just when you're when you're like fourteen and you're yeah. like yeah. you you get a girl's Snapchat for the first mm-hmm. time, go home and shave your balls like you're fucking James Bond. Mm-hmm. Or like maybe, you just go fucking below the yeah. grade. Yeah, yeah. Or you maybe my, a little uh, bit of skin. My math teacher during lunch would be like, you want to have sex? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, I noticed your cock is shaved. I could tell through your pants. Mm-hmm. One plus you, one equals you have sex with me. I mm-hmm. really wanted a, That's correct. a medium underaged cock mm-hmm. from a guy who... Um, from a guy who smells a little bit weird. Isn't it wild though that at, at that age you you thought there there might be a chance. Sometimes there is a chance that though. this nurse went through eight years of school just to, to throw it all away on my twelve year old cock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember being so nervous one time because we had to do physicals for basketball, and uh, I was in seventh grade, I think, and the nurse was the mom of a girl I'd gone to school with for like four years. And it wasn't like a girl I had a crush on anything. It was just a girl in my grade. And she, dude, nothing medically improper was done, okay? But this was done basically on the basketball court, like right next to the locker rooms where it wasn't like in clear view. Yeah, yeah. It, was like empty. it was like before the school year started. So yeah. this wasn't like, I wasn't publicly molested. I wasn't privately molested either. <laughs> so I'm really giving this lady a bad rap and she didn't do anything wrong. Uh-huh. But the way she, t- they had to test for hernias, you know, dude. She got on her knees, yeah, that's and it. pull and pulled my basketball shorts down, and nobody had fucking warned me that that's how they test for hernias. Mm-hmm. And so I had to show this lady my penis and balls, and it's right next to her fucking face. And she's like, "All right," like looking away, like, "Okay, cough." And I cough, and I'm like, "All right, here it comes, blowjob from a fifty year old lady." <laughs> yes. Yeah, you know what they always do? They make you cough first. <laughs> To make sure you got sperm. They turn in the there. AC down so where your shit's super small. <laughs> dude, it was dude. probably as small as my penis has been yeah. since birth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember I, when you were born with a hard ass dick. Came mm-hmm. out there, hey, hey. Mm-hmm. That'd probably be weird. I wouldn't want that. <laughs> Show your whole fucking family. Whenever I had to get. I, <laughs> there was like a period of time where I was like. Goo goo gaga. Boom. 
the uh, there, there was a uh, like a short period of time when I was in college where like I had uh, I have I have stomach issues whatever, and there was like a good six month period where I was just like straight shit and blood and I got really scared I got super scared, uh, and so like you know you go to the doctor or whatever and uh, they recommend me to this gastroenterologist in Austin and he's like this good old boy from like Baylor. And he's like an older gentleman, and uh, he's like, uh, oh, oh, so uh, it says you're by your file. You got a uh, recommended here by your uh, primary care physician. He said you got some stomach issues. He says you uh, got a little bit of red on that toilet paper. We're gonna take. We're, we're gonna. We're gonna get you right. And I was like, okay, well, this guy's trying to lighten, you know, whatever. And I was like, yeah, yes, sir. Um, yeah, it, whenever I defecate. I was trying to be medical to him, and he was—he thought it would be funny to like not talk to me like a doctor. So he'd be like, "Yeah, you know, whenever you take shit, you got a little bit of blood, and that sometimes that's normal. But if it's a lot of blood, and it's a lot of blood in your shit, that ain't good." <laughs> and I was like, "Okay," I, like in my brain, I was like, "Can you please talk to me like a doctor? Can you please talk to me like a doctor? Can you please talk to me like a doctor?" And so, uh, like halfway through the appointment, he's like, "Well, you know, this comes to part. This, we're at the part where you ain't gonna like it, and I ain't gonna like it neither." But uh. You're going to have to turn around. This was his, verbatim. This is what he said to me. He goes, you're going to need to turn around. You're going to need to show me that rear end. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, God. Like, ah, f- like, can you just, can you, can you, you fucking hick sack of shit. I know you're a doctor. And I know you're smarter than me. Can you just put it on for a second? Can you just for one fucking second go, could you please um, do a 180 degree turn and then expose your um, your bottom to me? And then and then, and then then I'm going to um, place a glove upon my finger. Like, talk to me like that. I need that. I don't need. Hey, can you bend your butthole over and you show me your ass cheeks? Anyway, this motherfucker says that to me. Hey, we're going to need to look at that rear end. And I fucking turn around, dude. And then I like bend over. And he's like, all right, now I'm going to need you to. I'm just going to need you to go. Hey. <laughs> Um, and I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, just exhale for me. And I go, uh, he's like, nah, like you fucking, like you mean it. He didn't say fuck him. He's like, like you mean it. Like, you I'm going to fuck you and I'm gay. <laughs> yeah, literally. Look, we the, just, we use layman's terms around here. I'm going to need you to bend I'm gonna over. I'm going to my dick hard and I'm going to put it in your I'm ass. i fuck you like an animal. <laughs> and uh, and so like, I, I yeah, I bend <laughs> over. I like drop my fucking basketball shorts and then I fucking, you know, and then he's like, all right, so this is going to be pretty fuck. This is going to be pretty cold, young man. I ain't going to lie to you. It ain't going to be warm. It ain't going to be nice. And I'm like, stop talking to me like this. Stop. He fucking like puts a glove on and slides his finger in my fucking asshole. And he's just Ooh. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's just got it. And he's just kind of like, he's like, all right. So right there. Yeah. Okay. So this is, and he just kind of does this because he's feeling for polyps, like, like prostate cancer or whatever. I don't know. I'm just getting fingered by an old man. Contextually speaking, fine. It's a medical context. I heard it slid in there easy as fuck. <laughs> yeah, it was not. He didn't have much. No, nah, I heard you were so tight because you never even uh, experienced anything. So like unprofessional, Doctor. Yeah. What was he, his name? He's a <laughs> <laughs> doctor. He goes. He goes. What doctor was uh, that? Yeah. He goes. Houston, it's, too right? tight. it's too tight. I can't even go in there. You're too straight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let me in, Jake. Please, I need it. We're gonna have to lube it up. He so, did. So he did put on. <laughs> He did put the like ultrasound lubricant on his finger, and then while he was he had his finger in my ass. Where do you find that stuff? Uh, he goes. He did say this is real. He goes, "Oh yeah, I forgot we're supposed to warm this stuff up. We got a warmer for it." And I was like, "Ah," uh, like as a joke. And then when he like popped his finger out of me and was like telling me that I was fine, he pointed to a machine. It was not kidding. He was like, "Oh, to make it easier on you, we we are we. Are, I'm sorry, I kind of." We 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 were supposed to warm that up. Just went in raw. Yeah, no, he went in cold. Jake Jake went in. Uh, oh, oh, I just like normally doctor. when you get when, normally when you're getting fingered by an oh. old man. What if I would next time I get my doctor asshole looked at? Doctor uh, <laughs> Oh yeah, there's poop in there. <laughs> there's, there's poop there's in my blood, butt, in my sir. Poop, not from getting stretched out or anything. No, if a doctor ever wanted to put his finger on my butt, I'd say, I'd just die of bowel cancer. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's just the only way they can check if you're fine. And you're like, no, it's so cool. I'd die of cancer. It's, it's yeah. Is there a way you could like check by giving me a blowjob? <laughs> I love that shit. Is there any way you could check by letting me fuck a hot piece of ass? Maybe you sir? could check my cum. Mm-hmm. 
to see if there's cancer. Could you get a hot girl in here to, to blow me, and then you could check my cum to see if I have butt cancer? <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, Jake, it's me, Dr. Fat Al, but we got to check your cum for some cancer. <laughs> anyway. I'm straight. Bow, bow, bow. That's what he would say if he was diagnosed. You guys want to get into some cocaine tonight? Y'all want to go to Dallas and buy some coke? I don't think you have to go to Dallas to buy Coke. Can you buy Coke in Fort Worth? You can, but I'm not going to let you buy Coke. Why not? It would be a bad friend move. Why wouldn't you let me buy Why wouldn't totally you let me buy notoriously move. not good at life <laughs> under the influence of <laughs> no, I, say, I would say no. No, I'm older now. I could I could be yeah. responsible with yeah, it. Yeah, that's an awesome idea. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Actually, awesome thing we did this weekend. Alex and I, Alex hadn't drank at all, and I had barely hadn't really drank much either. We got, we found Jake some cocaine. Yeah, to do, yeah, yeah. And uh, we smoked it, and it was fucking it was dope. Awesome, yeah. And then we all got really good at basketball. Yeah, so. I would love to fucking. Do so we found out the, it wasn't even cocaine. I would love to be yeah, the lens bias phenomenal. of podcasts. Who the fuck is lens bias? You fucking. Oh dude. my gosh, you know who lens bias is? He was like the number one draft in the for the Celtics in the eighties, and then he tried cocaine for the first time and died like the night after he was drafted. That's bad. Yes. Yeah. He was gonna. He was like, people thought he was gonna be like who Michael Jordan ended up being. He was like the best college basketball player of all time, yeah. and then like got drafted and then like did coke with his friends and died. He was uh <clears throat> in the eighties. He was actually the the law that Reagan did to make. Crack like ninety nine like schedule times. one or something. Yeah, it was called like the lens bias law or something like that. One of those laws was called that. It's crazy. Zion Williams is just addicted to hot wings. Yeah, he's a di- yeah and prostitutes. He's addicted to fucking BBL. Oh, dude, that, that Twitter thread was sandwiches. so funny. Where it was like, yeah, this boy liked to get finger hit in his butt or whatever the fuck. Like, damn, lady, you can't oh, no. even like. Yeah, fucking the dude's a millionaire and he can't get fingered in peace. Yeah, that, yeah. When uh, what was her name? The lady that Kanye was seeing, um, Amber Rose. Yeah, yeah. She was like, "Oh, this man like a finger in his finger butt. in the booty old like, ass uh, fella." Yeah, is what you she think you're him. gonna get me? You think you're gonna own me by saying mm-hmm. I like a little bit? Of, listen, I got a million. Oh no! Dollars. Please don't tell everybody who's willing to have sex with me what my preference is. <laughs> right, right, right. Also, I have a billion dollars. I have a billion dollars, and and I made some of the greatest music. Of oh no! Yeah. I bet you fucking think you got rid of me now. Guy who likes blowjobs all the time. Yeah, guy who loves to come hard as <laughs> <Yeah>. hell. <laughs> yeah. Likes his nipples rubbed and yeah, yeah. licked. No, don't tell everybody. There's not like a bunch of models and stuff on Twitter, no. <laughs> There's who, not a bunch who of really sh- money, getting, desperate, who are getting shit, shit on for money anyway. Yeah, that wouldn't fucking suck the oh, shit no, out of putting, my butt for fucking $1,000. Oh, oh, yeah, putting one finger in a guy's butt for a, a fucking Kelly bag. No, yeah. no, they oh, wouldn't no. do that. Oh, please don't tell everybody. That I like to get my shit sucked fucking soft to hard. Yeah, back anyway, to soft. I hate that shit. Back to soft, <laughs> then back to hard again, and then yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'm a normal ass guy. I like normal fucking, ass types of shit. Shit, I need my I need my shit sucked suck from the larval stage. <laughs> <laughs> like right from the gym when your shit is super small. I need my shit mm-hmm. sucked when I'm a zygote. No, that's not true. That's not true. That's that's gross. What do you like to do, man? Um, I like to chill. Yeah, you've like been uh, going to jujitsu lately. Haven't gone in two months. Yeah, I haven't so. trained in like a, like three weeks since my. Sorry, birthday. I was yeah, just trying to make know. conversation. Yeah, <laughs> no, I know. I uh, I haven't gone. It's cool to get your blue belt and then just stop going yeah, to jujitsu. It's, it happens all the time. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm probably gonna go next week though. Not gonna lie. Let's go. I've been um, I've been hitting the gym pretty. Six, uh, consistently, but I've also been hitting Chick Fil A pretty consistently. Yeah, and the dad pen. Yeah, I have been. What were you the smoking pen. on earlier? It was called like Nightmare. The it was Devil? called Uppercut Oreos <laughs> Hybrid. And Your actual name, by the way, my, not, a, uh, usually not I get, a joke. Yeah, yeah, usually I get the Uppercut Strawberry Lemonade Hybrid. Okay, does it taste like any type of fruit, or is that just yeah, like it doesn't taste like fucking anything except for gas station weed? Uh very nice. Yeah, very nice. Smoked with like a stoner who's like. Yeah, that's that. Uh, yeah, no, of course. The, yes, the dude. There's only been a couple so times I've ever been like, "Oh, this tastes good." Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It's been like, they're like, "Yeah, this is Gargamel's Pagolo," and <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah. "Cool, I'll remember that. I'll get that next time." Nodes of a uh, grapefruit. And, and then the next time I would get weed, I'd be like, "What? What do you have?" And the guy would be like, "Uh, regular weed," and I'd be like, "That works for me too." Yeah, yeah. 
I like whenever well, like I was in high school and going into college was like it was just called it was just like White Widow and like Northern Lights and like you know like OG Kush or whatever. And then I was in college. I moved to Austin, and people were like, "Oh, this is like uh, this is like lemon berry lemon berry dank or whatever." And I'm like, "Oh, like I'm gonna smoke this, and it's gonna taste like a key lime pie." Yeah. And then I would just smoke it, and it just tastes like weed. And then to your point, I'd be like, "Oh, like." What makes it lemon berry? And they're like, "Oh, you can't taste it." And I'm like, <laughs> "No, this tastes like shit. Like I like this tastes like this weed. weed. Yeah. This tastes like I'm smoking weed that's gonna yeah. give me a panic attack." And they're like, "Nah, bro, it's got like." So what they do is they like the terpenes or what give it the flavor, right? I'm like, "Why don't you terp my fucking dick, dude? This shit tastes <laughs> like fucking swag. Like it tastes yeah. like weed." One of my best friends, like, whenever I was on probation, he'd be like, "Dude, honestly, I can't wait to smoke with you when you get off, cause like." We got this new shit. It's got crystals on it, and it's the first weed that's HIV positive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, "Damn!" Like it gives you HIV, and he's like, "No, it's just HIV positive. Like it's, it has it, but it does it won't like right, give you right. it." I'm like, this is that Ooh. cheesecake. This is that right. cheesecake. That's what well, I want. Like when you cook wine into food, it's not. Yeah, like, it, it evaporates, yeah, it but it leaves drunk. the sweetness. You reduce right, right. it down. That exactly. HIV residue, and right. you go, "Oh, I'm a little bit." Mm-hmm. My roommate Mellowed sold out. weed for it's like a long Johnson. ass time, and he would get so mad at me, like so so fucking. He would get like personally offended when he would like uh, he would buy like a bunch of wax or like shatter to sell or whatever the fuck, and he would be like, "Yeah, this is a this is cheesecake wax, so it's got like a real like real sweet taste to it. It's like super super mellow. You'll like it." And I would take a dab off his rig, and I would just cough till I threw up, and like I would get super high and get scared. And but then after I, he'd be like, "Oh yeah, like." That's like smoother, right? Like, and I'm like, no, that just tastes like fucking weed, dude. And he's like, bro, this is cheesecake, Bubba. Like, like the same. Like, if you told me that the first president was George Bush, and I would go, it's fucking not. It's George Washington. Like, as mad as you'd get at somebody you're talking to that's mentally retarded, he would be like, dude, this is cheesecake, Bubba. You're telling me cheesecake, Bubba, tastes like swag to you? Are you fucking stupid? And I'd be like. Yeah, no, this tastes like fucking, this tastes like weed. It's like, dude, you've never smoked Cheesecake Bubba then. You've never had, like, you literally, you can't even tell what Cheesecake Bubba is. And I'm like, then no, I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. Cheesecake Bubba tastes like shit. Weed is weed. We Like, I honestly, call me a fucking a Philistine, whatever the fuck. I was on a date with this girl one time. She was a small yay. She worked at this really fancy Greek restaurant. And um, I took her out, and I wanted to be like a like a you know I wanted to take her out to a place that she likes. So I took her to this really fancy steakhouse, and she was like, uh, "Oh, can we get the fucking like the the Malbec? It's like a it's this 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 like a Malbec. It's got like hints of apricot." And I'm like, "Oh shit, I ain't never had nothing like this. I'm gonna trust her. She's fucking sommelier at this restaurant by my house." And so like I mean, it's a country. Yeah, it's a country. It's a place in France, sommelier France. And uh, I drink it. It just tastes like barefoot wine. It just it just tastes like it. It tastes a little bit better than gas station wine, but like I'm not like I'm not getting hints of like nut mm-hmm. or like you know toffee. <laughs> but you, you know, did you like that? You, though? you like hints of nut? Yeah, I love getting hints of nut in my mouth and in my ass <laughs> yeah, too. Uh, and so I'm, I'm yeah, like, really hey, right. this is a ball back. Mm-hmm. So I ask her, I'm like, hey, did the guy fuck up or whatever? And she's like, what do you mean? And I'm like. Oh, like we you know we ordered the we ordered the apricot like you said this had like apricot like in it or whatever and she's like, no, it's notes of apricot and I'm like this tastes like this tastes like Woodbridge like this just tastes like wine you get from the gas station and she was so pissed she was like you can't taste the toffee and I'm like no this tastes like fucking you're not getting the ground coverings <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah like this just this is wine like it's wine yeah it's just wine. They, they, oh, you can the notes of caramel and vanilla with the subtle hints of peach. No, this is, this a, is fucking mm, wine, dude. Ball sweat essence. Yeah, right. yeah, the essence of cum and oh, piss. red is red, red. You probably didn't drink it right. You have to like. Uh, yeah, you that's to- what they say. That's what they say. <laughs> they say that you're not. Oh, did you aerate it first? No, motherfucker. I'm an alcoholic. Like I've literally been drinking for thirty. How did, fast can I drink? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, dude. When we were at that fancy ass restaurant in Chicago, and they gave me that. <laughs> They gave me that like super fancy Negroni that had like, like, uh, like this rare orange like dust on it or whatever. Like I was like, "Fuck it, I'm, we're gonna we're gonna ball out." I'm on Chicago, yeah. and I just I drank it in like two seconds, that, that, and the waiter came back. To those me weren't and, shots, by the yeah, way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was like, "Oh, are you ready for another one?" And I was like, "Yeah, this is all right. Can you just bring me like a whiskey coke?" And the guy was like, oh, "You didn't like to drink?" And I was like, "It's fine." And then I look at the menu, and it was like twenty dollars, and I'm like, "Oh, I." 
I am in the wrong. Yeah. The, he, I, I have a problem. Whatever the guy's like, oh, that's what I'm making in an hour. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, but we're rich guys now, you know. No, that guy definitely made more money. Oh, by than the way, do. can we? This is this is a freebie. This doesn't matter. We were, we paid for that on the company card, and then every like, people Venmo. We were Venmo yeah. for that. Yeah. Yeah. That. Um, yes, we're, sir. We're supposed to just write write that off. I think. We did. Did, yeah, we did. We did write that off. But yep. like, you know, anyway. This is bu- uh, business. Well, but just because you write stuff off doesn't mean that you're not paying for it. No, for sure. For sure. I was you just, write, We wrote it off, but it was we wrote off the tax for it. Mm-hmm. Which was, we, oh, we got back $10 from that night. And then we, yeah. It's half the price of that drink. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that It fucking, wasn't like we could have had a bunch, we could have had eight people buying steaks at one of the nicest what the nicest steakhouse I've ever been to. I've only yeah, been to a couple. Yeah. And it's like, well, we just made ourselves a whole fucking bunch of money. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, like I never had a. I never <laughs> I had a. Think that's a write off yeah. work. I never had a another beef. dollar in the bank. Let's yeah. Go. <laughs> I never had a beef Wellington before. So like afterwards, I was like, I really liked it. It did taste very good. So I was like, I think I'm gonna start having more beef Wellingtons. But like, there's no <laughs> restaurant I've been to before or since that presents that as an option. Yeah, <laughs> like you could, if you go back to the UK, I bet you could because it's like a British. Yeah, no, it's thing. a very popular. Yeah, 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 but what I'm saying is like I've well, been to Ireland. Allegedly, we're gonna get it back though. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you that. <laughs> I guess what I was saying, like I, this was in November, right? Like or our, yeah, November <laughs> we went and like since then, like me and Ash have gone to a couple date night places. I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna get a beef Wellington and like. I'll go to like a halfway decent steakhouse or restaurant. I'm like, do you guys have beef Wellington? I'm like, the fuck do we look like? <laughs> what does this look like to you fucking dipshit? Like, you just ask me if I got beef Wellington. Bro, there are boudin balls on the menu. It's, it's, sir, this is Logan's Roadhouse? Yeah, right. Uh, yes, exactly. Like, this is Texas Roadhouse. Did you just ask me if I can make you a beef Wellington? <laughs> like, I'm like, damn, it was good, dude. Yeah, they're like more like Jake's weighing a ton. Fucking Let's go. More like this. Dick sucking a bunch. Mm-hmm. Dude. Oh, never mind. I was about to make a joke, and then I realized the joke had the girl's full name in it. So if I just made that joke, it would just be, and it's not a common name either. So it would just be the first and last name of a girl I don't know that well, and who just got like, like just had a kid. So I can't do that. On, I'm really glad I caught that because that was about to be a really fucking bad I, we, thing. We to were do. on the way to the guitar center to buy these mics. Like we were talking about, like I almost always just like say the full names of people on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I'm like, oh yeah, my ex girlfriend, and I'm like, yeah, she was a real bitch. He says it's a bad word. I wasn't saying anything. Yeah, you guys are fucking homos, dude. You guys are. Fucking and if we are, that's good. Yeah, that's good. I wish we were. Nah, just kidding. I don't. Baby girl, when you show it to me, you show it to me every time. Do you guys want to do another emo song? We could like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, Baby know. girl, when you show me your pussy, it looks really cool to me. And when I go and I look at Mexican it. Mexican emo. <laughs> I freaking fucking completely forgot any emo song. Yeah, so I don't really remember. I've, I've only really heard like Fall Out Boy and stuff. So that's, that's. Am I more than you show me your butt? I've been showing my penis to... 21 Pilots is a really big emo band, right? That's yeah. kind of like what your band is like. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jake yeah. Jake makes kind of like 21 Pilots, Imagine Dragons type yeah, music. Yeah, for sure. yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah, yeah. Um, eating a sandwich, eating a sandwich, oh, 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 I'm eating a sandwich, eating a sandwich. I love that he throws the rap, <laughs> like physical gestures. Like I'm like, I'm they like, are rappers. Kendrick, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All my life, I wanted to uh, eat a sandwich. Want, wanted catfish and flour, fry that stuff, and it's yummy for every hour. <laughs> I pray my meal gets bigger than in my plate, so I can make hungry, and I get when I ate it. And his name is Jake. Yep, that's fine. Ah, re- onion ring, onion <laughs> ring, ring. ring. <laughs> Onion ring ring, onion ring ring, onion ring ring, onion ring ring. I got 25 fries in my ketchup. Yes, yum. <laughs> yes, um. <laughs> All right. I think that is 
I think we got ourselves a video. I don't know how long. It, it says it records for an unlimited amount of time, but that simply can't be true. So, Yeah, that but fine. that was. I think that was a good... Uh, was a thank good, you, Alex, for coming on. Thank you, Alex, for coming and on. we'll plug all it's your stuff, pleasure. but tell people where to find tell you. Tell people where to find you. Um, Fort Worth, Texas. <laughs> okay. No, I, I follow him on Twitch, uh, and we and uh, Instagram, low-key, chill-ass dude. Twitter, shy... Shy hung oh, alpha. alpha. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the hung name alpha. was the name was taken, so the L is an I. Yeah. yeah. And what's your what's your Twitch? Loki your last dude. Loki oh, right. your last dude. Follow Alex. He's very uh, entertaining on Twitch, Instagram, all that stuff. And uh, we'll see you. It will really, Bye! dude. It's right. That's oh my.